time for the final match on this opening day of the Six Nations Under 18s Festival here in beautiful Parma in northern Italy. And it's two old enemies who face off England versus Wales. Both anthems passionately belted out by both sides on what is going to be a very entertaining tie between these two old folks. We begin with England who start with a fun free of all of which are Harlequin's books with Jimmy Miller, Jimmy Staples and Ollie Streeter. Connor Treacy is the captain of England of Bath Rugby and New Milton Rugby Club. Johnny Beeman, the scrum half, James Linegar, the fly half. Keep an eye on Tyler of Fire on the left wing and George Pearson on the right, both of whom have got wings. Ospreys, Cardiff and Scarlets and the front three of Dylan James, Tom Allen, Jack Pritchard. Sean Davis of Cardiff Rugby, the scrum half for Wales. Calvin Jones of Llandovery College and the Scarlets, the fly half. Keep an eye out on Stefan Emmanuel, the centre of Millfield and Bath Rugby. He is the leader of Wales, the captain, and also Jack Woods of Monmouth School and Dragons at fullback. This also can be a little danger for Wales. Plenty of replacements for both sides, no doubt. Both coaches will ring through these changes throughout this game as Lorenzo Negro of France will be the man in the middle for this one. Oh, Italy, I should do beg your part. So here we go then. Final game, Calvin Jones of Wales. Of Llandovery College and Scarlets gets us underway. And that's not the start the Wales would have been wanted. Another start, no doubt. Okay, that's the 
Mark, let's. So first test for both the packs. Not the test Wales would have wanted after only a handful of seconds in this game. Good strong pack from Wales. Good strong. Touch my waist, touch it. Touch back. Wales under nine. pressure. Six waist stay. Inside the run 22. Not a bad kick though. Ball just landing on another ball to stop the uh, quick throw there. So a little ounce of luck for Wales. Five guys. To stop Johnny Raymond taking a good one. Instead, Jimmy Staples of Harlequins, Seaford School, and Worthing Rugby Club is going to test his dart from the hockey. And finds the bullseye on the first time. Away, Solomon six. Shand of Gloucester Rugby Club. Stay. And Ellsbury. Vyman. By looping ball. And that's going to go out to touch. Simon Shan cannot keep that one in. One unforced error apiece. No. And both these sides in the opening minutes. Nine, nine, nine. Yeah. Stay, stay. Keep the line, keep the line. Sean Davis is having a quiet word in his ear from Lorenzo Negro of Italy. And a man in the middle. And this time Tom now finds his bullseye from the hockey. Lewis Edwards, welcome to the game. Davis. Ball comes out loose. Juggling act needed. Jack Woods is the man to stop. Nick Lilly in his tracks. Vyman. Take him back. Uses his fly half to sit it downfield. Picked up into the bread basket of his opposite number, Calvin okay, Jones. Jones has spots a gap to try and put full backs under pressure again for England. Right, and a David kick in tennis uh, will ensue. Okay, advantage offside, eight. We have an offside advantage. And that back, we're going to come for that penalty. Chance for Wales to regroup. Find a plan and to get into England territory, Solomon Shand was the man guilty of being offside. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Jack Pritchard just making sure he has the correct instructions from our referee. Come on, come on. And this is uh, unusual. We haven't seen much of this today. Especially in our previous two games where we saw a lot of attacking endeavour. The Wales are opting from inside their own half to have a pop at goal. Points on the board, the important catalyst, it seems. Gonna be a good kick, must be said, just inside their own half. So let's say at 50. And a bit meters, you can see that tree in the background. Although it is a bit windy here today in Parma. So good test this for Carmen Jones. Got the legs. Oh, has it? Now just right at the uprights. I think it would have got there though. Okay, inside white. Good kick though from England. They send Wales back to whence they came. Yeah, you have time. You have time. Just step back. Number. Five. 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 Just come down, England ball. Crunch! Burn! 
Vyman with the put in. Let's go. Shan. Okay, no, no. I can roll. Solomon Shan goes to Grant. But England win the penalty for the high tackle. Tony Vyman keen to get on with it, but whispered into his ear. Man, that may not be the right choice instead. Eyes up the corner. Vyman of Northampton Saints, Bedford School and Royston Rugby Club. Finds his way. Just creeps inside the Walsh 22. James Linnigan with the kick. A Bath Rugby in Kingswood okay, School. Wait, wait, step, wait, step back. Jimmy Staples. Okay. What do I mean? Step back, wait. Forwards and night, forwards and night. Okay, wait a Lorenzo Negro stamping his authority to both sides. Vantage, take in here. How? Stay. Vine. No, no. We are playing Vantage. Miller. Vyman. Release. Apparently advantage being given England's way. Vyman. Kind of Tracy, the England captain, goes to Grant. Stay. And goes backwards. On route. Good, Good tackle there on Patrick Hogg. Good Good go back for one. that penalty. Yep. Okay. Okay. for England and I'm guessing they, they fancy here. the corner again. We're taking the hair in the line out or one in the middle of right tackle, which you prefer. Oh, it's in the middle of 22, middle of, under the post. No, 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 no. In middle of, of 22. This one? Okay. Take in the air. Lay down. Five meter line out. Okay. Don't close, don't close, don't close. Test the Walsh defense. Staples. Oh, oh, Picked up by Gwyn okay. of Wales. That's good, that's good. The ball was out. Good to know. Release the go. England have turned it over inside the Walsh 22. Now the ball is dead. And it will be England with the putting. No, no. It was unplayable. White was going forward. Scrum. Playable. Scrum. Yeah, scrum for you. Another test on the watch back. We didn't do too bad on the. First scrum on the halfway line. We do need, need something Crunch. here to try and hop this England in advance. Try and test this England back. We've been pretty resolute so far. I can roll up just shy of the posts. And it is England who will get over with the opening score. Patrick Hawk. Receiving the congratulations of Newcastle Falcons and Dunham School. Open to scoring of this tie. Right under the post. Easy conversion to come. Good start from England. Well, that's the start England would have been looking for. Wales yet to get into England territory. James Lindgren adds the extras. Seven points in a lead. Ten minutes gone.
So we go again. How do Wales respond? Israel Akinrolo. Solomon Shand. Stay. Very in. Okay. How to play. Your talent of fire was quick. Told you here they have wheels, and it's opened up another opportunity for England to double that advantage, and they just have. Johnny Vyman, the scorer at this time. Julian? Tyler of fire. All the passes was good. Yeah, from it. Cut Thank through the much. Welsh defence, and with it, created the opening for Johnny Vyman to double England's advantage. Twelve minutes down. And they're already 12 up. OK, cerchiamo di dargli un corridoio un po' più grande. Well, the exact start in the wooden block for. 12 points to be good. Second. Wales just missing one penalty so far from Calvin Jones. I did mention in my opening talent of fire, be careful of him. But he quick left winger. And now 14 points to the good. England lead against Wales. <laughs> Need response and quick. Otherwise, right, this game can run away from you rather quickly. Will Evans. And because you're holding on here, not careful. And to the rocket may have been given here by our referee from Italy, so. No. No, mate, mate. and go. From Davis. So this is the Walsh response that was needed straight away. Jones finds the corner. And it will be Tom Howe this time who needs to find his map. For the catch and drive. Okay, no, no, no. S step back, boat. Step back, boat. Okay, that's the channel. Howe finds his man this time all over the top. It's been very sloppy. So far from Tom Howe, but it's still with the team in red and not for long. Ball not forward. England will have a chance to. Regroup and clear their lines from the scrum. Twice before giving that penalty. And now England can play with a penalty of their own. Bit of a slice off the boot there. Not many yards gained. By James Lenniger. Yeah, but you, you, the timing was good, but not the position. Old. Staples. Goes long. 
Bulls okay. knock forward. Advantage red for the knock. Red knock on advantage. How far will they get with it? David. Okay, one. Advantage. He's trying to go away. Turn on the knock on. So we'll be scrum down Ross Paul. Just shy of the England 22. Davis puts in. Okay, no stability, no stability, quick reset. Okay. Well, that was going to be a reset, which will eat up a little bit of time. Guys. Okay, one step forward, both. Let's go, reset, quick reset, guys. Our Italian referee asking the players to get on with it. Pops out to Davis. Wales on the run. Emmanuel, the captain, going to ground. Pounds in England. Holding on. Hold on. And right now, Wales is trying to hold on to England's coattails here in this opening 17 and a half minutes. We have seen in previous games here today how the tide could change rather quickly. Ball stays in play. And now a run, a great run, a superb run, but no support. But a great effort from Tom Bowie. Davis, ball gone loose again, again, scrappy from Wales. But they still retain possession. Davis. Back we come. Watch penalty. Offside, never come back. Solomon Shan, guilty being offside again. He may need a speaking to. Offside. He does it again. Second time he's been caught offside there. Conceding the penalty. Into the corner we go. For another bit of fun and games. Great run from Tom Bowen of Clifton College and Bristol Bears. No! They have already been taken. Wales on the drive. Wales score! And a little bit of actors as well. The referees have to get involved here. Hey, no, no, no. Come down, come down. Well, I did say at the start, these two old enemies like to take up arms against each other, and that's exactly what seems to be happening here. But Wales on the score sheet, reduce the deficit. Game on. Calvin Jones will look to add the extras. We'll get that replay, no doubt, of that previous drive. Catch and drive from Wales, who caught it, even now directed off guard. Jones though to have the extras. Fourteen-seven. Let's take a look. Tom Cattell with the catch. Step, step, step. Fourteen seven the score, fifteen minutes okay. to go. Uh, okay. Okay, your substitution. I have to stay outside. Yeah. You go tell that if I go tell Okay. Yeah, stop him there. Okay? Okay, thank you. Our referee from Italy, Lorenzo Megvo, just telling Conan Tracy and Stefan Emanuel. No more of that. Thank you very much. 
now we've got a one score game. Bowen tries to dance his way to gain some yards. Okay, stop wait. Davis. Body's out, body's out, take him back. Long looping pass. A bit of space opening up here for Wales as they find some gaps now in the England defence. Lewis Edwards, the one with the game. Take him back. Jones sends it downfield. Okay, let's play. Gone backwards. Backward. From James Linegar. White stay. Up into the okay, Italian sky. Taken by Bowie. Tries to find his way through the England defence. This time picked up by Gwyn of Hot Green Scouts. Okay, wait. Stay. It's a looping pass. It's stayed straight though for Jones on the left wing, but he goes to North First 22 minutes of play have flown by. It's a good rugby, a little bit of needle. Recipe for a good game. Back. Picked up by Tom Catal of my old alma mater, Castellan High School in Flintshire. High tackle. Free ball coming in the Welsh way. That is exactly what they're going to try and do. Back they come for the penalty. Advantage number 12, I take up. 12, I take up. Israel Akin Rowell, the guilty party on this occasion. Calvin Jones, eyeing up the corner. Trying to do a carbon copy of what they did previously. And that's a fantastic kick. Eye of the needle stuff from where he was. And Wales have an attacking platform deep inside England territory. Same again, please, they'll be asking for. Cottell takes it. Now the drive comes from Wales again. Drive, drive, drive forward, they go. Driving forward, they go. Penalty try given. Wales are back level. And somebody could be in trouble. Number six. Number six. Number six. And Patrick Hogg is off to the bin. <laughs> Collapse is the Reason given, spotted by Lorenzo Negro. Well, this game has turned in the last 10 minutes. The wind has taken out of the England sails. Level game, 14 of picks, and they're down to 14. Breeze, wait, no hit! Breeze! Oh, Penning to Wales. No, no, Iraq will form number one. Ends up. What? Ends Well, now England have to survive this Welsh pressure. Especially towards the end of this now. First half, they'll have a one-man advantage for the next nine minutes or so. No, seven, seven. No, no, open, wait. The statistics always name? say seven points always conceded when okay. a team goes down one player. Okay, hold. The Welsh team seem more buoyant. It won't be after that. Losing a lineup yet again. They've lost a number in this first 25 minutes. 
And that's a fantastic kick. That is a wonderful kick, in fact. Oh, superb. Wonderful for Dan Green of Sale Sharks at St Ambrose School. How many guys? Six. Staples. It's been pretty accurate so far from the line. Not on this occasion, no. Loses out to Dylan James. James. Davis. Cross the loose. And, oh, well. Opportunity knocks for a couple of knock ons here. And it will be a knock on advantage being played here for. So they miss it. So for the scrum. Uh, for this cramp, seven. Seven. Yeah. Seven. You have to match. Yeah, with the two flanker. Okay, let's go, let's go. It's a knockout. Seven man scrum, Chris Patrick Hawk at the moment is in the bin. Bye! Set! Release, nine! England, six metres out, even though they're on a one man disadvantage. Put it Wales under pressure. Wales might try and take him over here, the way they were going. And I think they may have just lost it, in fact. It's going to be turned over red white. Okay, stay. Use it, ways. But he's out. Spins away, but kept in play. Dan Green. A fire. First man. No heads now. You lose. Turned over again the Welsh way. Jones. Sent it high into the sky, but out of the full, back we go, England ball. No, 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 good to know, but... How many, Jolo? How many? Jolo, how many? Five. Clear. Okay, wait. Wait, step back, please. Five, five, five. five. Good contest. Tim Miller is the man who picks up from the lineout. Ah, you lose, you lose. Contest. One illegally. Penalty England. Taken quickly by Solomon Shan, too quickly for our referee's liking. One of eight. Maybe just a little bit of game management Six minutes. from Solomon Shan. Number one, go it's to the ground. Remind him that they are down, down to 14 at this moment in time. So eating up the clock would be wise to the ground. as well. Hence why James Lundgren has the ball in hand and he's out of the corner. Just to eat up a little bit of the clock as well. Okay, right on the line. White, step. Okay. No, 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 stay, stay, Excellent take from John O'Balding. Okay, now. And now the try from England. It's good, it's very good, it's too good. It's the third try. Connor Treacy, the England captain, over the line. Excellent work from England. Nineteen to fourteen, the score. Quanto al giallo?
repeat. Okay, after the kick. You can just, yeah. Well, as I mentioned, seven minutes is usually seven points is usually what's been conceded when you got a one-man uh, disadvantage. But it seems England, are the exception to the rule, and at this occasion they've gained five, and this now to gain another two. Off the post. And just the two points gifted to England. 19-14, an exciting game. One of the best games we've seen today. This one so far. Wales wasting a little time, but have they kept up and in play? No. Straight. Okay, up shot. Scrum. Again, another unforced error from Wales. In the back to their full quota. Three minutes to go in this very entertaining first half that we've had here in Poland. England look to finish the stronger. Good off look to Dan Green. Green, though, within a swarm of red. Got rid of the ball, but unfortunately, he's gone into a red hand. If you're an England fan. For Wales, though, Will Evans is the man to try to get on the front foot. Davis. Emmanuel. With the kick. The catches a fire of guard. Good control, good control. Good contest, says our referee. A very open contest, this one has been as well, and it's still. There for England and Wales. Ball is out and it's been picked up and Wales will win the penalty. <laughs> High fives galore from the Welsh team. They'll be thrilled with that contest. As Jones now eyes up the 22. And he's found again the corner. This is the major weapon of the Welsh Arsenal, it seems. Strong tackle on a fire there from Tom Bowen of Clifton College. Welsh catch and drive. Let's call it now. There's the catch. Advantage of the push. Here's Northern with the drive this time. It's is a Welsh try! Tom Bowen, the scorer. What a game this is. Tries galore in each end. 19 apiece. We are another half of this, everyone, as well. Great entertainment to round off this opening day of the Six Nations Under 18s Festival. John Cattell of Castellan High School and RGC with the collection. Tom Bowen with the score. 19 apiece. This for Wales to take the lead for the first time in this contest. <laughs> and it's the Welsh who are singing in the crowd. Two points the difference. One more play to go in this first half. The offload there from James of Harper in Gloucester. Superb. Let's play, guys. Let's play. Let's play. Wales with the lead by two. Last play, yep. Against their rivals. Last play of this first half. Back right. All goes backwards. Bowen's off to the races again. And here's James. Inside the 22. Maybe Wales are going to finish the stronger here. Will Evans. Penalty England. 
No bonus at the end of this first half. Time is up. He won't go for one last play or just give him the touch and say, we'll have half time. Either tap and go is the only way to play, but instead, they're going to cut their losses at the end of this first half. Breathless stuff. Relentless stuff. Entertaining stuff. Grab yourself a cup of tea or a, or a beverage to sit down and enjoy this second half. That's due to begin in 10 minutes time from now. The last bit of drama on this first day of the Six Nations Under-18 Festival to come very shortly. What entertainment we've seen in this first half. Six tries, three apiece. Beginning with England, who were in top gear the first 10 minutes. Patrick Hawk under the posts with try number one. Then, try number two moments later came Johnny Vyman of Northampton Saints after the run from Tyler O'Fire. Offload good from Nick Lilly. And Wales found a footing in this game. All three of their tries have come from this area. Five metre line outs. First of which, taken by James of Harper in Gloucester. See how James, the first Welsh scorer. And then, after a little bit of afters, penalty try. Patrick Hogg was the guilty party. The judge of bringing it down just before the try line. He was sent to the bin. Then, with England, a man down found their third score. This time it was the England captain, Connor Treacy. Conversion was missed, it hit the post. That made it 19-14. And then, at the end of the half, catch by Tom Cattell, offload by Tom Howe, Tom Bowen of Clifton College of Bristol Bears. Scores Wales' his third try. Calvin Jones has been three out of three from the boot. Three good conversions compared to James Lemmigas two out of three. That is the difference, just two points at the break. Strap yourselves in, folks. This one could go either way. Exciting stuff. We're back in a few moments' time with England 19, Wales 21.
for the final act of the day. Taylor and Wales make their way back out onto the field. Wales leading 21 to 19. 35 minutes of high entertainment to conclude this first day of the Six Nations Under 18s Festival. Lorenzo Negro of Italy restarts with his whistle, and it is James Lennon again who gets his back of the way. Tom Bowen collects. It's been a real handful for Wales, causing trouble in the England line. Dylan James. Davis. Stefan Emmanuel, the world's cap. Davis. Looking for the box kick. Nice, get back, play on. England looking to try and get on the front foot from the off here. Looking for a bit of creativity. Nick Lee, though. A little bit shy of pace to go on the end of that pass. Wales line out to share the halfway line. Tom Howe. Needs to find his dust. My word, that was never sweet. England have the putty. I'm pretty sure that they could tell that wasn't straight from the land. Never mind the stand here with plenty of red shirts and white shirts. As it's gone a little cooler now here in Parliament. The last hour as the sun is set and now we're all under the lights. Picked up by Solomon Shap. Tackle there from Tom Bowen. Try and get his man into touch and does his job. Somehow this time. A little bit of wind up there as well. And that one this time has gone long. But that's been knocked forward by his opposite number, Jimmy Staples. Well, we've seen a couple of times from Tom Howe so far from the, uh, the touchline. He's struggled a little bit in open play, but when it comes to the five metre line, he has been absolutely bang on it. Well spotted. You sense that it's going to be from the bench this game's going to be won. We're going to start making the replacements in about 10 minutes or so from now. Good scrum there from England. But Wales still collect. Kick forward. Chip forward. Hello. Interesting. On the bounce though. It's going to be knocked forward. And Wales will have the put it inside the England half this time. Well, it caught England off guard. That chip forward, and so many times you see it on the bounce go right into the bread basket. To a man on the run. And then it's try time. Good vision from Wales. Davis puts in. Spins. Welsh win the penalty. Davis wants to get on with it. And an advantage coming the Welsh way again. Going Wales' way. Free ball coming here. Crossfield pass. Bowen's after it. Bowen collects. Superb from Bowen. That was forward though. 
They're gonna check it, but I'm pretty sure that mine went forward. Okay, knock on. Okay, knock on. The advantage I take over number eight, white. Back to the gun from an earlier penalty. Eight, on top of Shan. That's the third one he's conceded now. Number eight, white. On a high tackle this time. No shock here. Wales going for the corner. Okay, wait on the line. This has been their Exocet missile. And their arsenal of weapons. Finds his man straight away. It's unbelievable somehow. <laughs> And he's got the ball in hand. Here's the drive again from Wales. Davis wants it off. Howe gets it off him. Crossfield kick. Bowen's there. Bowen gets. No, that's unlucky. stuff. <laughs> Wales not afraid to chance their arm it seems. Okay, really trying to use trick. every trick in the book. And Bowen was like yeah. Superman there trying to collect that crossfield pass. Yeah. Maybe four or five yards too much on the kick. Still means we got a two-point game. Jumps, chip forward. Under pressure again. England back line. Wales may have found a chink in the England armour. Davis. Kicking game to continue. This time to the corner. Full of run, full of vigour. This time, Connor Treese, the England captain, trying to get over the game line. Vyman. Staples. Ball loose. That is illegal because he was. By red, offside number five. Offside number five there. Tom Cattell. Man from North Wales. Place is probably at RGC, which is at a Colwyn Bay. One of three players in the squad. To the Jones and to the Norfolk, the two other players who play their rugby at RGC okay, on the North Wales coast. Red. RAS Park. Four red. Okay. Away forward, please. Let's play. <laughs> Staples, England inside the Welsh half. Not straight. You will be able to hear in our effects microphones, by the way, that the wind is swirling around here. So when the ball does loop into the air, it does drift on the wind, so you can see in our Went flapping and through the bibs as I saw blow up on the screen from the water caddies. It's not exactly a two club win if it was golf, but it's, it's still have an effect on club selection. Look at it that way. Free kick Wales. Taken quickly, spotted a gap. Wonderful kick. Take. Referee. Yeah, 50-22 was called by the referee in Wales now. Look where they are again. How? Doesn't find his man this time. Instead it goes into the bread basket of Patrick Hogg. England looking to launch a town attack from their own half. 
Instead, it's loose, it's scrappy, but it's still there for George Pearson, who finds touch. his man this time and they find a gap on the blind side high tackle penalty on the way for Wales free ball on its coat on its way inside the England 22 ball pops out back they come to the Welsh penalty five wide they take up John on bolding this time the guilty party five wide I take up and I'll give you three guesses where this ball's gonna end up Ruben Cummins ready to come onto the field for Wales. We have to be patient now. Instead, no, in fact, the change is being made right now. Jack Harrison also on from Beach and Clifford and Bass Rugby. Ruben Cummins of Halfbury and Gloucester. Halfbury, that great rugby college. And it is going to be this time Ruben Cummins. Lewis Edwards leaving the field, Cummins finds his man in Tom Cattell and now here we go again with Wales and another Welsh drive, this time the five metres out there. Comes out and here we go again with Wales from Stephen Emmanuel, the Wales captain. Harrison. Wales continues to drive forward through Davis. The Welsh captain has he got already has! Stephen Emmanuel of Millfield and Bath scores Wales his fourth try. Welsh captain doing the captain's innings. And it's the Wales fans now singing. 14-0 down to remind you. After 10 minutes, they now lead 26-19. Great reach from Stefan Emmanuel. And now the extras to be added. Makes this a nine point game for Wales. Carmen Jones, four out of five today from the team. That's missed the conversion. One penalty missed after a couple of minutes. But now England in chase mode. Five, five white, five white. And this game can be won or lost from the bench. What do England have in reserve? <laughs> Unforced error. Wales have done that twice from the kickoff today. First time England have done it. Wales put it. Nine points the difference now. Set and we'll go again. Wales. 
Davis. Interception! George Pearson on the run! And out of nothing, England are back in the tie! Well, it's been all Wales in the second half. England needed a gift, they got one. George Pearson, City of Oxford College and Buckingham Rugby Union Football Club. On the score sheet, deficit now four with the conversion to come. Grandstand finish on its way here in Palmer. Out of nothing. Calvin Jones, that looping pass, gifted George Pearson the interception. Four points now the difference. 20 minutes to play. All to play for. This to make it a one score game. Linegar into the heart. Just one score separates the two sides now. Still 20 minutes to play. Two points the difference. England 26, Wales 28. Promise you drama, promise you entertainment. I'm not letting you down. And there's still 19 minutes to play. Number two. Match Number hanging two. in the balance. Changes being made. Number four. Number four. Four. Okay, let's go. Restart from Jones. Swarm of red shirts chasing. Dan Green of England. Lucas Friday on the field now for the men in white. Box kick. Stays in play. Oh, not forward. From Jack Woods. And now the momentum may be swinging England's way. On the bounce. Out of play. Game could go either way. I was taken back. It was over the line. The rack start over the line. They taken back. Red ball. Six red. Six red. Six okay, red leaving the field. Leaving the field. That's Don Kusus. Okay, let's go. Cummings. Taken. By Gwyn. Ryan Jones of Harpery and Dragons. The ball is out though, and it could have been stolen, could have been white ball instead. Ball is not forward. Wales a chance to relieve the pressure from the scrum inside the on 22. The clock is ticking, 15 minutes and change still to go. I remind you, by the way, the graphic in your corner is only a rough indicator of where we are in the game. We still go on the referee's watch. So the tan goes with the red, it's not verbatim, as it were. Especially if this is only a one score game. Davis puts it under pressure from Lucas Friday. The stops of momentum. The Welsh wave, but they won a penalty. Oh, that is a slice. That is going to go back into the middle of the field, and there's a chance for England to launch a counter. 
instead. Wales from inside the home 22. Put it into the okay, let's go. of England fullback. And now back it comes. Kick in tennis. Out of play. Very good kick indeed. Tom Bowen couldn't collect it. Instead, Wales will have to try and figure out a way to get out of their own half with a line out in between the 22 and the 10 metre line. The call from George Chockley of Monmouth School and Dragons to Ruben Cummings of Harper in okay, Gloucester. Okay. Don't go backwards, stay in line. Thank you. Lorenzo Negro just instructing the hooker to keep to his rules and not his own. Davis. Use it. Box kick from Davis. It is deflected and put into the air. Not forward. Unlucky. From Seb Kelly of Sale Sharks and Rochdale. Another day, it could have gone straight into his arms and he's in the corner for an England try. But Wales under pressure. England have them where they want them, inside their own 22. Uh, 14 minutes. We heard the referee say 14 minutes to go. Chip forward, different, maybe a cardinal sin. England collect inside the Welsh half and they've got a penalty on their way. That's been lost, but they're going to come back for that penalty. Maybe that little chip forward, the wrong play at the wrong time. Player down for Wales. Number seven. See how James of Harpery and Gloucester, the first try scorer for Wales. And he did come down on his knee rather quickly there as well. It might be an awkward injury for the watch from the seven, hence the time has stopped whilst he received some treatment. 21 19, the score was at half time. One try apiece since then. Stefan Emmanuel, the world's captain, scored it. Then a gift from Wales to England. George Pearson with an intercepted pass. Both conversions, seven points apiece added to their score from half time to give us 26 England, 28 Wales. We have around 13 minutes left to play. The crowd wrapped up. The temperature has dropped it in Palmer over the last hour or so. Yeah, yeah. And now England out with the team. take a pop of gold. James leaving the field. Shot coat. High tackle. The offence. James gingerly walks off the pitch. But now this for 
James. I'm going to get to give England a one point lead with 10 minutes and change left to play. Now England with the lead. Nine points from the boot of James Zanagan in this game. Twenty-eight points to twenty-nine. Ten minutes or so left to play. A game that has gone one way and the other. Tossed and turned. The momentum was it with England in the first 10 minutes. Then went 14 0 up. Wales responded to level up. 14 0. Then went 19 14 England. 21 19 Wales. 28 19 Wales. And now it's 29 28 England. Which way is the seesaw battle going to go? England with possession to try and extend that one point advantage to force Wales to score a try if they can. A convert a try of their own would make it a very difficult job for the team in red. But they're the ones with possession right now. Anything will do for Wales to try and get that lead back. Davis, penalty coming the Welsh way. Back they're going to come. High tackle again. And this time it will be Callum Jones who will be eyeing up. Corner again. It's not a bad a Great effort again. Wow. That right boot is gold dust. Look what he's got Wales again. From inside his own half. Cummings. Finds Cattell. Here's the drive again for Wales. It is Cummings with the ball at the back. As they continue to drive forward, England. Resolute defence. Stop that drive. Davis opens up a ball. Second try! Tom Bowie, the scorer, under the post. Wales with the lead again. I must say, though, that comes from the boot of Calvin Jones. From where he got Wales from that penalty, from inside their own half to six metres out, is remarkable. Bowen. Spots the gap, gets through. Akin Robo and Lily. And now Wales with a four point lead. To come to six. Jones. Converted every conversion so far. He's played five conversions, just one penalty missed. That was two minutes into this game. This for me all comes back to that penalty from where Jones got Wales. Some of the best in the world would have been proud of that. So, oh wow, six point game. And this, he still sends us another twist in this tail. Which way is it going to go? Another score for Wales will put the game out of sight. Converted try from England gives them a one point lead. Grandstand finish. Wales are the ones who have the winning post in their sights, but they've got to try and last another six minutes or so. There is an advantage, an offside advantage to come here for Wales. 
they do a free ball. That's not going to count, so that's going to come back for that penalty. But more importantly, eats up some of the clock. Gone down territory again, but this time only up to the halfway line. A remarkable performance on that young man. For me, he's been superb. Cummings. Davis. Low tackle on Harrison. England win the penalty. Now questions here. Five minutes to go. Sense you've got to go for it, haven't you? You've got to go for the corner. No, no, Tracy no. said maybe. Six. Well, I thought for a second that he was, he was pointing at the uh, the posts. Got to go for the corner here. This is where the game's going to loss. Best game of the day, without a doubt. Stay right. George Knowles. Of Hereford Cathedral School and Redby Rugby Club. He goes short! Stay. Friday. Inches away, England. They may get there, they won't get there. They are going to get there. Is he over? Referee's having a good look. He's on the floor having a look at this one. What's he going to be given here? Got an army of bodies on top. Someone celebrated. Touch the judge and have a good conversation here. Let's have a listen. Held up. Wow, wow, wow. Fist pumps for Wales. More importantly, you can see them. They, they want to restart the other side. Very smart game management here to eat up a little bit of the clock as well. Three minutes to go. Remind you, we go on the referee's watch, by the way, not the clock that you see in your corner. 19, I, I take over. High tackle again. England penalty on route. 17 of And another penalty to come as well. Newton. It's England's the one who's going to be finishing the stronger here. Friday. Back they come for the early penalty. Still England ball. Options, what do you do here? Corner. Or tap and go. Iron up the corner. With James Vanegar. Three minutes. They, uh, the referee just indicated how long to go, and that is three minutes. Blood yep. And we have, a, we have a blood substitution as well. Probably a blood sub. Number 17 White. 17 White. That's George Tuckley. Sorry, it's Josh Manor, do beg your pardon. Of Exeter Chiefs. Truro College. Penzance and Newland Rugby Club. A place I've visited a couple of times in my sporting yeah. career. Beautiful part of the world. Three minutes to go. Okay, guys, are you? He's ready or make subs? Okay, thank you very much. Lorenzo Negro has been very keen to get on with play here today. Obviously, has dinner reservations around eight o'clock this evening. 
George Knowles from the line. Three minutes to go, to remind you. So take away two minutes or so from that clock in the corner. Still lots of time to be played here. That's not straight. And the Welsh are celebrating. The Stoga are trying to eat up here, but they'll have the scrub, they'll have the putting. But they'll feel that they've dodged a bullet. Welsh pick it up. Release, Ryan, right, release! Body's oh, there, stay, right. stay! And Ryan's had a long trial and they've got to run this. And they've got themselves in trouble, they've got themselves in a pickle. England will have the line out again from where they had it just a few moments ago. Joseph Jones couldn't receive the pass. Okay, wait, let's go. Numbers! Wait! Six. George Knowles. Got to get it right this time. Knowles. Looping. Finds Hogg. Now the drive from England. Five metres out. Four. Three. They're going, they're driving, they're driving, they're getting there, they're going to get there, they're going to get there, are they? There's a try for England! <laughs> what drama we have here, now down to a conversion, and not the easiest one at that. There's still time in this game to remind you, this is not over yet. One minute left. Ah, now you've just heard it. You just heard from our referee. If you wait one minute for the kick, the time is over. So this match is now all on this kick. This for the game. An extraordinary game. As you heard the referee, Lorenzo Nico, just say, if you wait one minute, the time is up. See, all the time in the world here for James Inigo, Bath Rugby, Kingswood School and Chippenham Rugby Club. This to win the game. Into the heart, into the goal. England take the victory. What a game of rugby. What a superb match. A one point victory. A seesaw battle, a roller coaster ride. England celebrates. Jubilation, devastation for Wales. One point the difference. Wales missed one penalty in the game that was two minutes in one single penalty for England 11 points from the boot of James Lenniger the difference what a great advert for this level of rugby 36 points to 35. We might need an hour to go through the highlights here. But there were so many. Both teams could raise their head up high. It was a superb game. I gotta put my player of the match. I thought Cowan Jones of Wales was exceptional. What a bright future that young man has. But so many of the England players as well are gonna take out James Lenniger, I thought was magnificent as well. What a treat to the England captain. Superb as well. A magnificent advert for this level. And maybe, just maybe, some stars to wear 
the three feathers of Wales and the red rose of England for many, many moons to come. A stunning end to a stunning day of Six Nations under 18's Festival of Rugby. And we'll do it all again on Wednesday. These two sides, Wales are going up against Portugal. And England, they faced one old enemy. And then now they have the old enemy of Scotland to come on Wednesday. What a game to finish under the lights here in Parma. Let's run you through what happened in this game. We might need a good hour to go through all of this, but we might just take about five or six minutes. The first try came after about seven, eight minutes. That seemed an eternity ago. Patrick Hogg was the scorer. That was after about seven, eight minutes. And then a few moments later, it happened again. England doubled their advantage. And what seemed at the time as one-way traffic, it was all England. Great run here from Tyler O'Fire. Nick Lilly with the offload to Johnny Vyman. That was the second try. Then Wales found a foothold in the game. First try scored by James. The subs were involved with the celebrations. There's a little bit of afterwards between both sides. Our referee, Lorenzo Nicolo, had to calm down. Then, try number two. Penalty try given. Patrick Hogg had to go to the bin for the latter end of the first half. Then, when England were down to 14, they scored again. This time, Connor Treacy, the captain, with a magnificent score. Then, back to Wales they come, right at the end of the first half. It was Tom Bowen this time. That made it 21-19 at the break. So then we continue. Wales go over. Stefan Emmanuel, the Welsh captain. That made it 28 19. Then a gift. George Pearson. No one near him. Good legs, good wheels in the corner. That made it 26 to 28. A penalty then followed. England lead 29 28. Then, as we see the Pearson intercepted try again. From a kick from deep into the Welsh territory, Jones finds the five metre. From the line out, Tom Bowen scores his second try of the game. And that made it 36, 35 I should say, 29. And then the last five, six minutes was all England. All England. They were knocking the Welsh door. They were huffing. They were puffing. They eventually got over the line. In the end, I think it was Sam Graham was the man. Right at the back. Or was it, in fact, George Knowles? I think it was George Knowles, in fact. Who got over of head of the Cathedral School on Lebry. And then it was all down to that conversion at the end and what courage James Linegan did to slot on the conversion to give England a win by a single point. England 36, Wales 35. What a way to end the opening day of the Six Nations Under 18s Festival. And that is how, that's it where we have it and that's how you have it tonight on this Saturday night here in Palmer. Thank you so much for your company wherever you may be. From me, Johnny Bryan, see you soon. We're back on Wednesday. Dave Rogers is in the chair for that. See you soon. Bye, Dave.